All right. Hello, everybody. So we're coming up on fall right now. Didn't really be the busy time for my CNC machine making things for Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, that kind of thing. Um, over the summer, it's been used some, not a whole lot. Um, so before the busy season, I want to make sure I get everything cleaned up, get these slide rails oiled good so we don't start getting any rust or anything. There's a couple places on here where you can tell there's a little rust starting to form, but not a whole lot. Carbide 3D does recommend a particular oil for this machine. However, that's kind of hard to get. Um, ordering it on the internet is rather expensive too from Amazon or eBay. So today we're going to use this Lucas Gun Oil. It's uh, readily available and uh, it's pretty cheap and it has a lot of the same benefits and goals and objectives as the uh, recommended oil. Um, as you can see, you can see here what it says on the bottle. Okay, so as you can see it says that it's super slick but clings to metal parts for easier operation and reduced wear. And it has a film to protect metal parts from rust, wear, and moisture. It neutralizes acids caused by contact from human hands and resists drying during long periods of storage. So that's exactly what I want to happen on this CNC machine. Um, so if it is sitting that these rails don't dry out and start to rust. So first we'll take the shop back, clean up any uh, chips that are remaining. Um, I've done a pretty good job of already getting it clean. So we'll get those cleaned up. Then we'll take this, we'll apply this to these rails and um, then we'll see how it does. I'll keep everybody updated to see if the rust spots get bigger or if they stay the same. Every once in a while you do hear a squeak out of the bearings. So I'll also keep everybody updated if those squeaks get worse or better and we'll see how this does on oiling this machine. So let's get started. Okay, I think that got that pretty well cleaned off got what was left of that sawdust. So here in a minute we'll go ahead and we'll start uh, applying oil to these rails and uh, start getting that going. Okay, so to apply this oil, I'm just going to put some on these rails. And I'll take one of these paper towels and just kind of wipe it off. You don't want a lot caked on there or anything. Um, so we'll just rub that on, and we'll just keep applying it. After this paper towel gets some oil built up in it, I may not apply any more to the actual rails. But um, we'll go ahead and get started. So we want to get some up here on the top and on the front. Put this underneath because we don't want to any drips. Not a big deal if it does, but... I want to make sure to rub it in good to get that good and clean and oiled up. We don't want any rust to build up on it. I don't know if it shows on the camera or not, but you can you can tell the difference between the top and bottom rail. Top rail is definitely shinier than the bottom one before and after the application. So we'll go ahead and we'll keep going. So this did have quite a bit of dirt on it, as you can see here. So we'll keep going and uh, see how this goes and long term how it helps the machine. So right here is one of those rusty spots we showed on the screen earlier. So I just want to make sure I get that coated really well so that it doesn't keep growing. Seems like it's definitely just surface anyway, but still want to limit that. And we'll go ahead and jog the carriage over. That way we can get behind that where that's at. I might actually go ahead and put a little bit more on top of these rails. And then while it's jogging over, it can kind of help get in those bearings a little bit. Okay, so let's 
so now that it's moved, if you step back here, you can definitely see the area that has oil and the area that doesn't. Might be hard to see on the camera, but you can see right here is the line, oil, no oil, then the same thing right here, oil, no oil. We're going to put a little bit on top of these rails here again. Make sure it's a little thick here on the side if we can. I want so much that's going to drip, but we'll put that underneath. And we'll jog it back the other way. Okay, so that should be a pretty good coating. We'll go ahead and wipe off the excess here. We'll make sure to get to the bottom too. It's easy to miss it since it is on the bottom and you really can't see it, but you want to make sure that it's coated as well. And next we'll go ahead and we'll try to get the bottom part for this Z-axis here. It's a little dirtier if you get down here at the bottom, you can see. That's just where those rails never come down that far. We'll go ahead and oil up here where we can. We'll jog it down and we'll oil the top and then we'll keep jogging it back and forth. Then while it's down, we'll probably add some of this to that lead screw also. So to make sure we don't get a bunch of oil dropping on the spoil board, I'll take another one of these paper towels. Just put underneath to try to catch any. Yeah, that's definitely dirty. It was due a good cleaning. We can get this other side too where it's dirty. And we'll have a cleaner and paper towel to work with. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this actually on the paper towel. Since those rails, it's kind of hard to get it up there on it. Reach up there, get it up there as far as you can. And make sure to get the bottom of those also. If you look, that's just from wiping the bottom of that one. So go ahead and turn it over so it's clean. Don't want to put any shavings or anything back up on it. So we'll go ahead and jog it down. So now that it's at the bottom, we'll go ahead and we'll clean the top of these. Then we'll add some extra to let it soak down around those bearings. And then we'll jog it back up to the top. So first, I'm gonna to try to wipe off as much of this as I can, because I don't want any oil that's getting this dust to get down in the bearings. I'd rather it just be the clean new oil that'll get in there. So we'll get that one cleaned off good. Make sure that's clean there around the top of these bearings also. Wanna make sure that's oiled, don't want that to dry out and get a bunch of dust down in it to wear these bearings out. Guide screw, it's pretty clean. It's pretty dry, so we'll go ahead and put a couple drops of this on there also. I have used this on the guide screw on my CNC machine also, so it should work for that. And I'm pretty confident with that one. So I'll just keep working its way down.
Okay, we'll go ahead and jog it up and down now that we got that side the oiled up good. Okay, it looks like that oil's starting to go down that lead screw there pretty good. It looks like it definitely coated that rail. We'll go ahead and we'll do this other one now. This one's going to be a little harder to get to with this sensor on top. We could take that off, but I don't want to do all that. Um, it's working. I just want to leave it alone. So we'll go ahead and put wet oil on here we can. We'll go ahead and put some up here on top of this bearing also. We'll jog it up and down. Go ahead and put a little more oil. I'm going to put a little more on this lead screw because it's pretty long. It's got a lot of surface for it to have to cover. Now while it's up, we'll try to put some on the bottom of it. Okay. So that seems pretty good. We'll go ahead and wipe off the extra oil that's sitting on top here, get that cleaned off, then we'll work on these side rails. I don't want to use a new rag or paper towel to do this because I don't want to dry these rails off. I just want to get what's extra sitting on top. Okay, we'll go ahead and wipe this extra oil off on the top. We'll go ahead and we'll leave the next side. Or this spot right here probably has the worst rust of any place on it. We'll go ahead and get that oiled up really well. And we'll monitor that and see if that gets any worse over time. With this uh, gun oil that I'm using. Okay, we got each one oiled and cleaned on its own. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'll put some extra oil on top of all the rails and on the sides. And then we'll go ahead and just work the machine back and forth, back and forth across the different diagonals using rapid position and carbide motion. Let that oil work into the bearings good. And then we should be in pretty decent shape. I'll probably go, I might go through and uh, clean the top of the um, belts a little bit that are on the sides. I don't want to get any oil on the bottom where it might slip on the teeth on those uh, stepper motor gears. But we'll go ahead and maybe try to clean the tops a little bit. Go ahead and take some of this also and put it on the edge of those uh, wheels, the pulleys on the sides that the belts go on, just to uh, make sure that those um, have some oil inside of those also. Okay, now we'll work it back and forth a few times again, just to help all this get worked into the machine. Okay, I think it's worked into the machine pretty well at this point. So we'll go ahead, we'll see about maybe cleaning the, these belts. Maybe get a little oil on the tops. Since the teeth are on the bottom, that shouldn't cause any issues. And that might actually help um, keep them lubricated and not uh, dry rot or anything. So we want to make sure those belts last also. So we'll go ahead and we'll try that and see how that goes. So you can definitely see on this belt where it's been oiled and where it hasn't. So um, we'll watch that too and see if these belts start coming apart, we'll know what it is. 
I don't think they will though. This should help keep them moist and keep them from dry rotting. So this would definitely make them look a lot better. They're kind of shiny now and they're black like they used to be when they were new. Next thing I will get that back there at the back. You can see where this part of the belt's been oiled, the back part hasn't. So we'll go ahead and get the back parts of both of these belts cleaned up. And then um, they should be in pretty good shape. Then we'll wipe off the extra oil that are, that's on this machine. And then um, we'll be ready to start cutting again. So I haven't noticed squeaking any since we've been um, just moving the machine around after applying the oil, so that's a good sign. It had got rid of squeak every once in a while, um, just when it was moving. It has nothing consistent, but it hasn't done that any today so far. So uh, that's a good sign. Maybe this oil's already working. We'll get the rest of this oil wiped off and we'll be ready to start cutting. And probably for good measure, I'll leave a paper towel underneath it tonight um, in case any oil does drip off just because I don't want to get all over the spoil board and make it start swelling up since it is that particle board stuff. Okay, we got all the extra oil wiped off now. It seems to be in pretty good shape. So I think we're ready to start cutting again. So make sure to subscribe to see more projects that are coming. There's a bunch that are planned. So thanks for watching.